electric Related to mobile vehicles Mobility enthusiast Davis one of a kind One country Welcome to Nairobi I know you are a pilot. Yes. So why are you not investing in maybe a pilot schools, flight schools and others? Because I feel like immobility is the, the future. Um, I have a passion for immobility. I have a passion for the charging uh, infrastructure. And that's what I saw that is a lack of here in Kenya. And I'm really trying to promote it. Yeah. Hi guys, that is your mobility enthusiast, Dave Dill, and it is my responsibility to bring mobility innovation from every corner of the world closer to you. Africa hasn't been left out from the transitioning to immobility in the world. As I always say, Kenyans are innovators. These are people who always want to be the first to try new innovation. I mean, these people are venturesome. They are open to new ideas. Anytime I talk about e-mobility or electric cars, the first question that pops up is, where and how am I going to charge this car or motorcycle when it runs out of power? There is a young man here in Kenya who is also a pilot who is filling in this gap. He's invested in this particular mobility space. Here is the man I'm talking about. So we are going to get closer to him to know more about him and why he's investing in the immobility e space here in Kenya. So that is what he is investing his money in. So what is this? So this is an electric vehicle charger. Um, yeah, basically used to charge electric vehicles. Uh, with this one, you can charge your car from, I guess, zero to full in approximately three to four hours. Wow, awesome. Mm. So since you are doing this business, I guess you own an electric car. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Because you have to walk the talk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you own an electric car. Mm -hmm. So what type of electric car do you own? It's a Golf, but an electric Golf. Electric Golf. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, I founded the company yeah. EV Charger in 2020. Yeah. It was the end of 2020, so it's been a bit over two years. So how many installations have you done so far here in Nairobi or in Kenya? Uh, in Kenya, so far we've done three. Three installations. Three installations. So here we're at Waterfall Mall. We have one at Two Rivers Mall and at City uh, Mall, Nyali, in Mombasa. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you've done three installations yes. so far. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I know there are three levels of charging, right? We have the level one, level two, and level three. So what level is this one? Uh, this is level two. Level two. Yeah. So just for layman terms, so level one is like the slowest, level three is the fastest. So this is like the medium sort of range. Okay, so yeah. you currently do not have the level three, which are the fast chargers or superchargers for the Teslas? Uh, no, not yet. Next year. Next year, yes. you're going to do that <laughs> next year. Okay. The other thing I want to know is, can you use this particular uh, level two charger on a Tesla? Ah, uh, yes, you can. Yeah. As long as the plug is compatible, mm. yeah, you can use it. Okay, so you have different, different kinds of the, the charger plugs, right? Mm -hmm. I can see about three over here. So, so why do you have these three? It's not even three, it's, it's one. Oh, it's, it's two rather. It's two, oh, okay. So we have what they call a type two. Yeah. It's compatible with cars from Europe. Mm. And then we have a connector here, which is a type one, which is compatible with cars from Japan. From Japan, yeah. oh, okay. So how you do it is just connect like that and yeah. plug to your Japan car. Japan car. It's like an adapter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So now I would like you to plug it into your car so my fans will see how the electric cars are charged. Okay, okay. All, right. all right. Electric mobility. Dave is three steps ahead. No competitor over here. Are you a fan of the vehicle space? Drive a fire lead in the race. Stay tuned and follow Drive a Fi on all platforms. So now you're going to demonstrate how? Yeah, I'll try. It's so simple. Let's try unit down. Just plug it in and then wait for the green light. Wait for the green light? Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> so simple. I'm going to have a copy or something. <laughs> so, what is the percentage at this moment? Let's have a look. 
So guys, as you saw outside, we just plugged in the charger. So we are charging the car and we entered now. So I'm going to ask him some questions. I need to find out how long is it going to take uh, to charge this car. On a single charge, on a full charge, it will do 275 kilometers, just with normal driving. 275? Uh-huh. Okay, so what is the brand again? What type is this? It's a Volkswagen Eagle. Eagle? Yes. Okay, awesome. So guys, you heard him. What happens, okay, when you have to use the stereo or the radio and the air conditioner, does it affect the battery performance? Actually, the, the thing that affects the battery performance, uh, or rather your range most, is your air conditioning or heating, It's but especially the heating. Okay. So, for example, you can monitor. Uh, right now, it says we can increase range by 23 kilometers. Mm -hmm and by air, we switching off air conditioning so you switch off the air conditioning uh we get more range you get more range oh, okay mm -hmm. so you'll even get more range than the 275 kilometers i told you about if i switch off the air conditioning or heater oh the heater mm -hmm. okay so guys now we are going to check what is under the bonnets or the hood of an electric car whoa. yeah whoa that's about it it's not that much but what you find familiar to gas cars is that we have a coolant yeah uh, we have brake fluid yeah, yeah and over here to the right we have car battery car battery well there is a normal car battery yeah in in an electric car yes what does it do? i guess this model anyway so this powers the radio the lights you know uh interior lights that's about it um, what you'd find that is not in a regular or gas car is over here we have the battery charger okay and we have the inverter over here okay. so, and I forgot one more thing um, we have the electric wait, motor so there is not a petrol engine or a diesel engine there is uh -huh. yeah this is definitely an electric car <laughs> so we have the uh, what's it called? The electric motor over here. This is okay. what drives the wheels. Yeah. Yeah, and that's about it. Okay, very little. Awesome. The lithium ion batteries are beneath somewhere under the seat. Yeah, they'll be under the seat. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That is something that you can't show. Yeah, we can't, we can't access. <laughs> you would have to Unless you go <laughs> under the car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. Hey David, do you know the electric cars don't even have an, of course, they don't have an exhaust, exhaust pipe. pipe yeah. yeah, we should have been here. Yeah, you should have but been here, but they do there's not nothing have. there. <laughs> yeah. That is very true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you are doing a great job over here. And then I want my followers or my viewers to know the name of your company. So what's the name of the company? Uh, name of the company is EV Charger. Uh, you spell it E-V-C-H-A-J-A. -A, and if you want to follow us on our socials, everything is at EV Charger. That's Instagram, Twitter, and uh, our Facebook. And also our website is evcharger.com. Awesome. So what is the end game? For now, I know you are doing the installations at the most public places. Are you also considering putting up these uh, chargers, wall box in homes, apartments, and others? Yes, sir, we are. We actually just did an installation. Uh, last week. Oh, you started already? Yeah, at a person's home. Um, so we're providing all solutions all around for homes, you know, businesses, uh, fleets, yeah. um, you know, hotels, restaurants, all that, not just malls. Um, and next year, the main goal by the end of uh, uh, first quarter, 2023, yeah. we want to install a couple of uh, DC fast chargers, the wow. super fast chargers on the highways. Yeah. So that people can be able to travel at least and go long It makes distance. sense, yeah. it makes sense. <laughs> okay, so I'm very excited about another thing. Mm -hmm. uh, um, at Waterfront Kyrie Mall, yeah. uh, for those people who will be in Kenya, yeah. please come to Waterfront Kyrie Mall on 29th October. There's an immobility exhibit. Yeah. Uh, we are taking a partner with IMDA, which is the African uh, Immobility Development Association. Yeah. So all the people, all the players in the market yeah. will be here. Wow. Uh, you know, electric bus, yeah. Teslas. Yeah. For those who have never been in an electric car, they'll be able to touch and have a feel and even a joyride. 
with an electric car. So it's very exciting. It's wow. a very good experience wow. uh, for people to have. Great. So guys, if you live here in Nairobi or in Kenya and you have interest in e-mobility, you can just pass by on the 29th of October for the e-mobility event. All right, Yadi. Thank Next you very day. much for this opportunity and nice keep to meet up you. what you are doing. It's a great thing. Thank and you. you know electric mobility is the future. Yes. So you are the right one. Yes. Thank you. All right. Bye guys. <laughs>